Hello and welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Elkin Wiersma, also known as EJ. So yes, you guys, it's that time of year again. And this video makes me always very excited. There's one that does it make me exciting, uh, excited even more. And that's when they are actually in bloom. The family ups is behind me on the wall and around me. Uh, but this is the second most beautiful video about fails I think I can make. And that is the uh, family ops is, uh, Arcad Spike Hunting. So yeah, it's a mouthful, but uh, today we're going to going uh, on a hunt uh, again. Um, just uh, obviously to see how many are spikes, uh, or how many fails are in spike and what we might expect this year. Uh, what I noticed, because I just had a quick look at when I did upload my first and my second, this is the third time we do it, so it's uh, becoming a nice tradition, I think. At least I hope so, I love fails, so if you don't love fails as much, this is probably not a video for you, but I have a feeling that a lot of people love fails, so this uh, should be a nice video, I think. Anyhow, I had a look and uh, like I said, this is the third time, but the second time, the second video, I uploaded actually this year. It was on the 7th of January and it's now uh, uh, November 2024 obviously when you watch this video uh, if you are early of course but anyhow so uh, it, it looks like that my fails are earlier this year with spiking and it's just interesting I don't know why uh, yeah I, I, I know it has to do with the temperature drop etc maybe uh, last year it was warmer for a longer period of time I don't remember from the top of my head but anyhow uh, if I would make this video in the same week so the first week of 2025 I think a lot of them might already be in bloom I'm not completely sure but I see a lot of spikes developing and that's a sign for me to make this video anyhow it's now November 2024 but that's why you will find in this year that I do uh, two uh, orchid hunt uh, spikes uh, spiking hunt for orchids orchid spike hunt yeah the title is a little bit um, you get a point we're going to look for the spikes but that's why I uploaded this this uh, video uh, twice this year that's the first thing I would mention. I, I'm, we're going to have a look at, at them, of course. Second thing, uh, quickly after this, but second thing is uh, a funny thing, I think. You may have noticed if you've watched my uh, channel, my videos for longer, but I started this video when I had a collection of 65 Fennel Leopsis. That's quite a an, 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 an collection already, if you ask me. The second video, if I remember correctly, I think it was seven, 73 fails. Uh, at least uh, above, just above the 70 mark and now I have uh, 98 fails so almost 100 so yeah I think I just need a 100 fails a 100 fail wall that's 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 that flows better and that would make a better title I think but I'm not um, they will come across my path if I somewhere and I will find them. it's not that I need them but I have more room and and like I said I love fail so I will fall in love with a new fail for, for sure, I know it. So it will uh, will happening. And the last, not the last video, but the video before that, I did an unboxing and I did did get two uh, nor, uh, new fails uh, as a gift. So uh, from uh, from Debbie from from Orchids for you, and uh, I'm very happy with them. So that uh, made did make the amount a little bit higher, but 98. Anyhow, this uh, was the intro. I think that that's always nice to have a little bit of perspective where I'm coming from, especially for the new subscribers. But I know we all want to go hunting. We are ready. So I'm going to grab the camera and we will have a look what we might expect this this year and coming year of the fail wall. It's, uh, I think it should be good. I'm not counting uh, actually uh, while filming. I did that, I tried it. That's not going to work. I'm not good with numbers. I will lose uh, track of the, um, uh, I will lose count I should say, uh, but I, I will uh, count afterwards and put a number in on the end of the video. I think that's nice. So we actually know at this point how many fails are spiking. Let's go. So yes, here we are you guys uh, at the fail wall. I just wanted to mention that last year I had the fails to this, uh, this area and then from uh, left to right. But yeah, with that amount of fails, I needed to, to extend the wall a little bit and I wanted this to be a fail wall, uh, com basically completely. Here and there are a few other plants, but that's it. As you can see, we have a conifer plant over here. 
but I just love the fail wash. And I did talk about that in the last video, how uh, the construction of the fail wall. But anyhow, and as you can see here and there, we have some room. So yeah, a 100 fail wall would be great <laughs> someday. But then once we have the 100, I need to stop buying them. And I don't know, I cannot promise that. Anyhow, you guys, here we go. I'm going to look at all of them just in case, who knows, some might be spiking, some not. These, most of these plants are coming from um, Archibias. It's an, uh, I will link that video. But there is a spike mark, but there is, well, actually, in there. Oh, this is hard to film. Can you see the, the root there? And then next to it is, I need to look at, see it with my own eyes. Yeah, it's, I think that's the start of a spike there. Um, this is the Tetraspis gigantica. So let's put her back. So yeah, and I'm back. This first part will become a little bit messy because I can hardly reach them. I apologize. Next section will be better. But anyhow, and we want to have a look at them. This takes quite some time. But there is an old spike. Is something new coming? Doesn't look like it. Like I said, next part will be a little bit, uh, a bit easier. But this I can look like this i can just leave it into place have a look and i cannot see a spike so i don't think this one is in spike this one had a spike so i'm not counting that one is it making a new one no i don't see anything let's move on to this one that is a new route and it's beautiful but i don't see a spike and that's okay these plants are fairly young well no that's the start of a route as well so let's go down and have a look at those in the corner. I'll be right back. We are now a bit closer. Let's have a look. Who are you? Ludemaniana. Yeah, there it is. I knew it, that this one was spiking. Very tiny plant, but there is a spike, as you can see. <laughs> and this one, I hope it's not a spike. It's the Funosa variety green. Don't see any spikes. No, this one needs the roots. It's not here for that long about it this year and it's uh, was in quite an amount of stress well this is very obvious i can uh, say this is a uh, falfinosa red that's a nice one this one i had a little bit earlier before the next one and it took uh no, no it was in the same uh, order i believe but this one started making roots earlier so this one is prepared better you can see this one has better leaves than that one that one is doing okay but uh, doesn't need a spike yet whoops um, well, this one is blooming. Not going to count that one. It's a gift from Insa. Same goes for this one. It's in bloom, but it's, it's, they are still transitioning into the system. So no new spikes for those. This one, this grew this beautiful leaf, and I believe it's still growing, that one. Um, so yeah, it doesn't need a spike if you ask me, but you never know. Uh, can I see something there? No. Roots. So that's okay, that is that one. And then we have this big one, that's why it was a little bit hard to get to the plant, but look at this, this is obviously a new spike. My Leodoro, beautiful plant. It made a basil cakey. This is actually the mother plant, but the basil cakey is on top of it. And that is starting a uh, second spike, I believe. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, this is the same story, this is a, very slow it's a cross with a gigantica and some are just very slow but well, actually this is not a cross this is a full gigantica h and r there we go very slow no flowers for this one and it's better better look at this beautiful beautiful also a very small plant david lynn japan as you can see uh just checking doesn't need to make a spike if you ask me in the plant agrees, that's a new root. There's a little tip there in the center, but it's a new root. And then this one, I just uh, repotted it the other day. It's making a root there. And it, it, most of the roots are still okay, but there were a few bad ones. So it's okay, it doesn't need to um, bloom. Then up here, this is a new spike. And this is from the dragon something. Let me quickly check. This is the, whoops, I'm sorry. Come on. 
Camera, please. Yeah, there we go. A very nice cross. Beautiful yellow orangey colors. Um, I'm going to leave it here. This takes too long. <laughs> and then we have my Excel. <laughs> Jajendika, it's one of the smallest plants I have, but it's still here. But you can see if you are long on my channel, it really is growing, but it's very slow, slow, slow. And have a look. I'm not sure. It's maybe blooming size. What is that? Yeah, it's very shiny, and I think it is um, a new root and not a flower spike. Yeah, look, it, it, there's a little bit of sh sh shine on it. And that I see more on the roots than axle spikes. So I don't think this one is a spike, but I think it could be. Um, but I'm not completely sure. But it's okay, it doesn't need to flower yet, even though I would love some flowers on that, of course. Not gonna count this one, but this is uh, obviously still in bloom. The Belina, this one is in bloom. But this one, yeah, this is obviously a new spike and it's very progressed already. But look at the uh, branches on it and then the leaves. This, this, is, this is a perfect picture. This is uh, how I would love to be, <laughs> to see my fells, all my fells. Beautiful leaves, strong leaves, very nice strong uh, spike and a, yeah, almost about to bloom. So it's going to be a good one, a good year for this one. Um, then down here we have this. This is uh, authentic pink. Yeah, fell of authentic pink. Uh, yeah, I bought it in bloom, so it's out of season, I think. Uh, let me quickly check down here. No, I don't see any uh, spikes, and it's okay. It's uh, growing leaves. This is the leaf that grew here, and this is the second one, and it looks very promising. Okay, next a uh, row of fells. So we're going to start up there. It's too short otherwise, <laughs> so I'm now on my steps. Yes, Insa, I'm not sure if you're watching. This is a fell celebensis, a gift from you. I thought I was losing it, but it's coming back to life and it's just starting to flower. Why won't well, my camera pick it up? Oops, it's now, I'm sorry for the shakiness. But this is obviously in spike. It's just uh, made a very long spike. So yeah, I, I think I'm bringing it back <laughs> to life. This is the gift I just talked about from uh, Orchids for You. A fairly new fell, but it already is attached to the wall. So I cannot take it off, but this is obvious. It is a spike over here. And we have a basil cake over there. Maybe that's in flower as well, but I cannot take it off the wall because of that. <laughs> Next to it is also a gift from Arcus for you. That's beautiful. Okay, now I can stand on the floor again, so it makes filming a little bit easier. Oops, bumping into things here. <laughs> oh, a mealy bug. See, I have mealy bugs as well. But uh, a spike, obviously a spike, but next to it we see another one. Ooh, that's good. That's good. And down there you can see a root. So two spikes. This is, the, I think, the first order from Orchids for You by Bronze Maiden. Look at the leaves. Look at the leaves. Obviously, that's not why we're here, but I love the leaves. I just needed to show them. Yes, next to the old spike over there. I'm sorry for the shakiness. I tried to keep it as still as possible. To the left, the green part is obviously a new spike. So yes, yes, just checking. Just checking. Uh, do I check this? Yeah. Oh, look at that. This is the first time it does this. Two spikes. I never had two spikes on this one, if I remember correctly. Hmm. Don't don't myself. But I think I, I no, I don't think so. <laughs> Anyhow, two spikes. This is branching from the old spikes from last year. Very short uh, spikes. So that's a sign something is wrong. And that's a sign something is going better, new roots. <laughs> so we need a new root, but you can also see the leaves are a little bit too uh, short. This is uh, the Sogo Relax. No, it wasn't that relaxed for, for a while, but I hope it's now relaxed again. Some branches, some new branches on the older spike. It came with and another branch over here. Um, yeah, I don't see any new, actual new spikes. And that's okay. This one had a bit of a rough time. Uh, this is my beer, 
uh, L, yeah, Beer King. LD is Beer King, that was it, yeah. Uh, it's an old spike it came with, and I see nothing new, and that's okay. That's okay. Well, this is obvious. This is very obvious. This is a new spike. And it's coming from the beautiful Tetraspis All Violet. Also one I did get from Arkebias, from Germany. Um, that's a new root in there. I'm sorry, that's a new root. But this is obviously a new spike. So yes, spiking. Then the neighbor, it had some issues with the leaf. I'm not completely sure, but it's down, luckily. And it's a very large one. It's uh, yeah, it's a cross with the Jenica, and that's why I buy these guys. I uh, love, love the leaves. <laughs> and I believe the other day that I did saw a start of the spike. Um, mm, I'm not sure anymore this moment. Yeah, there, there it is. Oops, I'm sorry. Um, zoom in a little bit. Yeah, you can see that it's green little part not this part I'm going to put my fingers before it but that just underneath this big leaf there is a start from for a um, start of a new spike <laughs> and then this one this one had a rough time something went wrong but it's coming back luckily because this is very very beautiful a very precious one oops there goes my mic I'm sorry I'm back I did reattach my mic this is the Stutria Tiana variety noblest the yellow one beautiful beautiful one uh, I didn't expect much of it but if I remember correctly yeah there it is you see new spike so it's okay it has more roots in the pot than I thought these are new roots and it did lost quite some roots but look at this it's coming back to us so it's working on a beautiful leaf plus a new spike enough energy for that luckily and then it's brother or sister <laughs> the excel more known family of the uh, and yeah obviously we already saw it beautiful spike beautiful leaves it's going bigger and bigger absolutely beautiful down here not far off family of the look at that growing beautiful leaves it's becoming nice a nice side blend and yeah, here and there I have a bit of mealy box, but I do have a spike on this one. That's this uh, video all about. Um, four, I should say. This one down here, it's making a spike. Hishing beaming sun. Very beautiful one as well. I uh, see one spike so far. That's perfectly fine. This is a no ID from the grocery store, I believe. Yeah, it has a commercial name. Uh, it's called Fenliopsis Tilken. It's a uh, pink with orange. Very nice one as well. But it's in flower. Uh, in spike, I'm sorry. Uh, I saw the flowers of this one. This is actually a new spike from this year. And I hope you can see it. it's fairly fresh and beautiful. So yes, this is, this is in spike. It was in spike for quite a while. Well, actually, look at that. A new branch here. Beautiful. And this might start to extend as well, the old spike. Down here we have a no ID fail, has a spike. And uh, look at that, a spike that's from the, I think it's the baby plant and the mother plant down there. I hope you can see it, it's a piece of green just above my finger. Yeah, there we go, is also a spike. So two spikes on this one, on that one. Look at this, just starting its spike. And this is Fenliopsis Linetta. Had a bit of a rough time, but I believe she is uh, going to become a bit happier again. At least happy enough to start spiking. This one always blooms for me and boo, let me quickly, no, not quickly, not too quick. Don't want to break anything, of course. Um, yes, I hope you can see it. It's just starting a spike. Let me zoom in there. Just in the middle of the screen now you can see it. So yes, it's in spike, but just up, up and about. <laughs> uh, another one. Okay, so yeah, you can imagine you already see and hear that probably that's a little bit difficult here and there to film them, especially in that corner. But 
trust me when they are in spike and try to water them especially in this corner oh my god and I, I really need to be focused and have nothing distracting me because otherwise i will break spikes for sure but anyhow we're going to have a look uh up top and then we're going to go work ourselves down and we have a look at these fails so <laughs> yeah this one i think i'm not completely remember i think that i just sprayed this one as well and i thought i was losing it but it's coming back to to uh, to me this is the only pyloric one i have and i always kept saying that i'm not really into pyloric which is true but then i said to this fell it doesn't mean that you have to die <laughs> so i still love you and you're a very pretty pyloric one so I think she's coming back. And I grabbed myself a flashlight to point things out. This is actually a gift from Gemma from the lights, I believe, once I bought. It's actually a beautiful gift and sometimes very handy. Um, let's move to this one. Oh, there's actually a leaf. See, do you see the leaf that's falling on my camera <laughs> from my dendrobium chrysanthemum? Uh, you're a little bit in the way. Well, we have up top there. A, obviously a spike and I just noticed that we have in here also a spike so two spikes on this one beautiful next to it well a very obviously a spike there and yeah this, the plant itself is not really doing that great and I just checked it the other day and it has not only roots arrow roots but also a lot of them inside of the pot I might just need to give this a bigger bigger pot but I will do that uh, probably after blooming just let it it's doing okay but I noticed that the leaves are not that pretty uh, let's move over here again we just saw that one but next to it while we are here there is an obvious big spike but next to it I hope you can see it there it's hard to film you guys yeah there it is two spikes on this beauty mottled leaves one so yeah and it's taking off i just reported actually a few months so probably the the previous one sometimes they just need a repotting sometimes it helps okay uh down here while we are here look at this one also two spikes i hope you can see them and an old spike it's a dark green one so that might well actually this is not as, as almost said it might start to branch out but this one is a uh, turning into wood so it's absorbing this uh, uh, spike while it's making the new one that's perfectly fine of course so I'm going to uh, lower myself to the ground again and I will be back <laughs> so this spike over here, uh, this yeah this spike this plant over here let's join the neighbor for now and there is obviously a spike growing in there so that one is in spike as well let's move to this side this is a fairly new one i bought in bloom it just dropped all the flowers so i hope kind of hope it's not in bloom it's completely out of season but you do not need to bloom let's focus on those beautiful roots in there then next to it and that's my heater actually going on during the day so that means it's a very uh, yeah cold day it's not that bright but i hope the sound will not distract too much um and it happens so far I do not see anything new on you <laughs> oh I'm sorry I need to focus on the camera as well of course while filming so yeah let's say this one is not in a, a spike yet but it's still blooming so yeah makes kind of makes sense next to it we have this one well this is a story on its own it always makes spikes for me new spikes there we go and it just doesn't bloom so i now have it hanging over here maybe this is the right spot for it to bloom yeah this one is not making any new spikes at the moment but it did earlier this year some of these are new spikes yeah but now we need to have it in bloom i don't know why but it just stop stop going so i i don't know which one this is <laughs> the tag is off that uh, is for sure anyhow then down here we have the family ups golden apple ox yeah and this one skipped blooming last year it didn't look as great and it's coming back this is uh, not ma many leaves but look at that it's quite a size and it's probably was maybe still working on this one much bigger than this one and a spike 
and a new root. So yeah, that is perfect. This is not a new one, so it could make spikes. Um, but so far, let me check in here. It's fairly high, but you never know. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry. I don't see a spike. A new spike yet. Well, actually, how about here? Sometimes it's very hard to film. <laughs> no, no spikes there. Then this one, some fells, just these are all the sort of winter bloom with the hybrids and some really enjoy it up there near the roof and some don't so actually these are all the hybrids that you find could find or most of them could find in the supermarket as is this one but this one started to get burned leaves so i had to uh, put it down this is a little tip in between so don't think that every fell needs the same amount of light that's basically what i'm saying I found it out the hard way, but this one really doesn't like the bright light. So that's why it's here. And this one is normally always a bit later with uh, spiking. I see a new root there. I hope you can see as well. It's a bit over. Uh, yes, there it is. <laughs> no spike. Then we have this beauty next to it. It's an old spike. Do we have new spike? I need a little light here. I don't hope it's not too annoying for you guys but I can barely see it try to lighten it up ah there it is haha <laughs> yes in there oh it's making it very bright I apologize I hope you can see it uh, is this even better probably in there is a spike yeah and I'm really stuck between all these uh, beautiful plants this one I mean this McConifer plant one of my uh, carnival plants i mean this it's it's amazingly huge <laughs> so yeah it's a very small teeny tiny corner over here so yeah but i hope i do fine enough to have to f film it actually <laughs> yes before i completely move over to the rest we did not see this one but it is in spike let me zoom in it's otherwise i cannot reach it with my camera you see the roots there and on the left just underneath you see a bit of green that's a new spike <laughs> so let's move over to this uh, this area and i'm sorry for the noise but i need to have my steps i keep, keep calling them steps <laughs> otherwise i'm too short i'm not very short but i'm too short for doing this <laughs> and not incredibly tall either but i'm not short um yeah this one is in bloom it's extending its spike there is the purple one coming from <laughs> so but not a new spike yet nothing there and i cannot say this from this one for this one because there is a beautiful spike and uh, it's the huge white one uh, i missed this one when i was on the other side filming but i see a new spike here a uh, new brand I should say plus a huge new brand coming here and there you see the tip of it um, I need to look I will go back for this one this is actually makes a new spike down there well it's this one lost some leaves as you can see it's making a new leaf luckily plus also a spike it has the roots for it so I just leave it she knows what she is doing next to it well very obvious here this is the big pink one I found in the IKEA. Also making new roots and a spike. Next to it is one that was also in my poisoning uh, experiment, <coughs> as you can see. But it's doing fine. Luckily, this leaf is fairly nice and a spike. It's just a no at the pink, uh, purple variety. I'm sorry, purple. No, I don't see more spikes. Let's go up, 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 up. So we had this purple one next to it. Well, this one is actually touching the light. Well, it's no idea as well, but obviously a spiking fell. Next to that one is growing the one that has this amazing amount of spikes. I think last time it was 19 or 20 spikes all in bloom at the same time. Well, that is this one. Hope you already, I hope you already saw them, but in there you can see it's making new spikes new green so yeah this one is in spike and i'll leave the old spikes it might give us a good show again this year who knows 
And now I'm going straight downwards. This is a fairly new one as well. Uh, I need to come in closer. I'm now on the floor again. Um, yeah, I'm not hoping for spikes on this one yet. It's out of season. No, I don't see anything yet. And that's good. But what I do see in the background there, in the very bright spot, is a new root. And that is what I want. Actually, I see another one over here. See, see that aerial root? Yeah, exactly what we want. In a pot, some roots, perfect. No spikes. And that is better in this case. Well, this one, this is the spike from last year. And look at, and it's actually a branch so I see now, but look at the size of this year's spike. It's Karen Al. No, it's not. It's, or is it? No, it's this Sogo. It's not the Karen Alba. No, I thought it was, but it's a mist, uh, mislabeled one. So I don't have the name for it, but it's this greenish, greenish color, green yellow color with a burgundy red. Beautiful. Like I said, it was mislabeled, but nonetheless a beautiful one. And a very nice large spike if you compare it with this one. I'm not sure why, well actually, no, no, I'm not completely sure, but I think it might have to do with something. I hope you, or I hope, I think you might remember that I did get a new uh, greenhouse floor and they had to be inside where I didn't have the lights for them. So that's probably why this spike just stopped growing. Yeah, I really, they were 10 days in almost in the dark and the fowls really do not like it when they start spiking. Nonetheless, it means that it gets enough light now. Beautiful spike. Moving on to the one next to it. There it is, beautiful spike. Some old spikes in the back and a new one forming there. So that is very obviously obvious. obvious. <laughs> this is a branch from the uh, fowl underneath her, a little bit disturbing in the uh, leaves there. I need to keep my eye on. Uh, anyhow, uh, no new spikes yet. We did saw this one, the purple one, but we hadn't a close-up of this one, one of my oldest uh, fails. Yeah, not sure. This one had a rough time as well. But it's now coming back. It's it's a big fail. You can see the previous leaves weren't that big, but now it starts growing again. It has a nice shine on the leaves, a, even a hint of that dark purple there. Beautiful, but not in spike. Yes. Speaking of beautiful, <laughs> you see this one has also a bit purple in the flowers. Very nice leaves. Obviously a new spike over here and this one is a branching and this one is all the way up here is also branching. So yeah, see is definitely in a spike. And the one above that one, yes, I see a spike and now I need to try to see and film it. There it is. There it is. So yes, in spike. And this one we just saw. So we are almost there you guys. We still have quite a few to go, but this is the last lot of spike uh, of spikes of fails we need to look at the mini fails most of them are minis no 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 we sh i promised you guys we would have a look at this one first let's do that first do i see anything in there that is new oh no i'm sorry um no i hope you can see it it has spikes, it's, uh, that's the one that was branching on those spikes. But I don't see any new thing yet. That's not really counting for new spikes, obviously. So uh, I will see you up there. <laughs> Guys, you should have should have watched me doing, uh, trying to film this, oh my God. But uh, it's fun, it's fun, don't get me wrong. Uh, yes, a new spike. I need to look at things around me. There's so many spikes, uh, leaves that I don't want to break, etc. A, a beautiful new spike on the left and a beautiful branching old spike from last year on the right. So yes, yeah, on mealybug damage, I know I have um, some mealybugs here and there, but I have them sort of under control. Uh, moving next to, uh, looking at the next, yeah, there you can see it. I cannot grab it from the wall, but there's obviously a new spike. Uh, yeah, it might have another one, but please forgive me. It's, this, 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 well, can we film that? 
apart. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't think I see a next spike. Then my Irene Duncan. That's the first Duncan. Uh, yeah, Duncan. Irene Duncan. And yes, there is a spike forming in that leaf on the right. There it is. It's the first time. And if I don't knock spikes off, I will knock my mic off, so I have to uh, readjust it again. Well, if I have to choose, I wouldn't love breaking this one, of course. Spikes, so yeah, then the, I will sacrifice my microphone. Anyhow, so yeah, it's a bit crowdy, but I love making this video. It makes it a little bit funny as well. We just saw it already, but yeah, obviously this one is in a flower, in spike. I'm sorry. The flowers are to come. So, so far I saw, I think, a pretty uh, pretty amount of spikes. And this one, look at this. Three in a row. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. No questions there. As goes with this one. Beautiful spike. And no ID. It's a uh, mottled one. That's what I know. Then next to it we have this uh, huge white one. It was in bloom for a very, very long time. So yeah, it's better for this one to give, to grab a little bit of rest. And I don't see any spikes, so that's better. It's absolutely better for this one. But new roots, beautiful. That's what this one needs right now. It has the roots, but uh, it needs to grow more leaves, more roots. Ah, uh, <laughs> we just had a look at this white one. I see new roots there. I love the look at that. Look at those roots on these fells. Even though it's blooming time, they keep on growing roots as well. It's beautiful. And this one is in spike, as you can see. It also is dropping some leaves. So it, I know it happens, but it's, uh, Rick L did make a beautiful video about it. It has to do with the potassium, I believe. So, something to keep an eye on. Um, yeah, in there. Oh, okay, here we go. This might be a spike that would be something. E oh, yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm going to do my best to get this in, in shot. Where are we? Oh, you guys. There we are, there we are. Can I zoom in? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm making a mess. I'm making a mess, a real mess. Let's get the light out. Uh, my camera is, yeah, focusing. Let's put the light from behind. There is a teeny tiny point of green sticking out. Uh, yeah, I think you cannot see it. I will put an arrow next to it. This would be amazing because, believe it or not, I have this fell since four, five, six years. Yeah, 2019. I never rebloomed it. And look at the roots. It also made a uh, basil cakey, beautiful, but never. <laughs> it wouldn't make a spike, and it just just started a spike. I'm pretty sure it is. The other day it wasn't there, so it's just starting to spike, and it's it's a beautiful mini fell, a very dark red one, almost black. Something to look forward to. Something to look forward to. Yes, absolutely. Once again, I apologize for my filming. Please laugh at it. I hope it's uh, funny for you as well. I see a teeny tiny, maybe possible, mealy bug on that spike. Well, obviously, <laughs> it's a spike. This is a no ID mini fell. Uh, first thing I saw was a new root. Well, actually, there's a spike as well. We see a new root. Next to it, there is a teeny tiny spike starting. So, yes, you are in spike as well. And actually, we have a bigger spike over here. This is on the mother plant. Yeah, so both of them and a little bit of white stuff. I think those are already dead, some mini box. Um, and yeah, obvious, obvious. This is the Madonna Tokoya, Tokaya. <laughs> and I misspelled it and I didn't change it. Oh, I know, I did somebody help me out. I need to check it, I need to, I think I didn't uh, readjust, uh, I, I didn't give it a new tag, readjust it, oh my God. I apologize. I'm so excited. <laughs> Anyhow, it's flowering. Yeah, down here. Look at this. A very teeny tiny mini. Also, I have no ID. And look at this. I hope you, there they are. Two spikes. Yes. And then we have an, another small one next to it. And this one. Oh, it's a no ID white one. Mm. 
I don't see. No. Oh, it's over. Exposed. I apologize. <laughs> but I didn't see any new starts of spikes there. Uh, this one we just saw. Yes. So we now hear. Oh, a heck of a lot of roots. Beautiful. And I'm pretty sure this one will. Yeah, there actually is a spike. Um, so yeah, it had some damaging on the leaves. That's from last year, not from this year, but in there, just un underneath that root, there is a start of a spike. And I wouldn't be surprised if this one makes more spikes. It's a mother plant with one keiki, uh, no, two, I believe. I believe this is a uh, keiki and this one. Yeah, there is a spike starting on a small keiki. Um, need to check with my lights, don't want to, yeah, no, I cannot, yeah. Um, now that spike I just pointed out is not coming from the teeny tiny cakey, this one, but from this one, I apologize. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's spiking. Well, very obvious, spike. Uh, yellow mottled one, number 47. That's what I do, they get numbers, and I try to give them a sort of description of the flows, <laughs> so I know which one it is. Yeah, I, I love names, it's just suited better. These plants are so special, but yeah, numbers is not special, right? If you've been treated like a number, this sort of expression, it's not nice. So I don't like to give my plants a number, like they, they mean nothing to me. They mean the world to me, of course, so I want to give them nice names. But yeah, we don't always have them. Maybe I'm silly. Let me know if you are the same with, uh, with the names. New Spike, focus on what you are doing, EJ. Yes. <laughs> New Spike over here. Ah, oh, this is my uh, Dragon Gold. I mean, talking about names, if I was a fell, uh, Dragon's Gold, I, I would love that name. Love that name. This is Dragon's Gold. One spike there, another spike over there. And you can see this is a mother plant with several keikis. We have another spike there. I think we just caught this, uh, did caught this one. There's a spike and there. Uh, so four, at least four. No, we didn't count this one. Five, five spikes, at least in this little corner. And roots, you guys, this is what we want to see. Roots, root, roots. So yeah, Dragon's Gold, beautiful name. <laughs> And then next to it we have Japan uh, Cupid. A spike there, a root there, and uh, another spike. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. There. <laughs> Two spikes. My mini mark, Maria Theresa. A spike here, and a second spike there. Beautiful. So those are. All, both of them have two spikes going on there. And believe it or not, we are there, you guys. This is the last one. Well, it obviously has a spike here. If, and it makes a new root there. And if I remember correctly, it did make another spike. Yeah. There, next to the roots. There we go, this, this is the spike. It's a uh, purple princess? No. <laughs> It was a princess, it's now a violet queen. <laughs> it was a, uh, a princess, a purple one. Violet queen, that was the last one. Yeah, so this is the, was the corner little area I need to work with. And I have my Hancocky eye, give me uh, a hand on the shoulder <laughs> from time to time and on the head. Anyhow, yes you guys, so um, now it's time for me to do, uh, to do a count uh, while I stop filming for a minute and I will be back and then I might have the amount of fells that are f uh, spiking right now. I, I, I expect a few more coming uh, in coming months, but for now uh, that would be the amount. So I will uh, see you in a bit. <laughs> So yes, you guys, so we are uh, sort of at the end of this video. It was a bit of a journey. I hope I did uh, okay with filming. Here and there, just forget, just forget that I had uh, hold, to hold the camera in the right position. I apologize. Uh, but like I said, it's a little bit uh, a journey, which I personally enjoy. And, and by the views that I do get on these videos, I think you also enjoy it. Let me know. Uh, anyhow, uh, but yeah, it's a bit of a tradition. So I will make these videos. It's just, uh, just a bit of fun. 
So we started, and well, we actually ended up, well, luckily, with, <laughs> with 98 fails. Nothing happened, nothing bad. But of, of course, uh, I did a count afterwards, and I, I did it three times, just to be sure. Uh, maybe you did count while I was filming. Who knows? But anyhow, uh, I, I, um, like I said, we start with 98 fails. And at this moment, so November 2024, I have 69 fails uh, starting a spike. So I didn't count the, the, uh, the ones uh, like the Bellinas, for, for example. Those were already in blooming and those spikes were there for pretty long. But I did count the yellow one over here. This is a new spike from this year. So it was spiking and still not completely in bloom. But I didn't count old spikes. So 69, yeah. And uh, I think there are still a few that will start a spike. There are always some that are just a little bit later. So overall, I think we will hit the 70 mark and probably go over it uh, a little bit. That means that it should be a fantastic show coming up in the, well, I think in January, if I look at it, I look at it now. Some are quite extended like this one, but most of them, like we just saw, are just starting. So it will take a couple of weeks, two months, two and a half months probably. So um, I, I think it's going to be a nice start of 2025 with the, with the fails uh, actually in bloom. That's a video to look forward as well. That's the, the most beautiful, well, not the most beautiful, but one of the most beautiful uh, videos that I can make. I will then grab again, again the camera and have a look at all the blooms one by one. It, it's, uh, it's just amazing. So yeah, 69 fails. I'm happy, I'm so happy. Plus, like I mentioned in the intro of this video, I think they are starting a little bit earlier. So if you have that as well, maybe you're from Europe, the same type of climate. I know that uh, in my area, I'm from the Netherlands. So if you are, uh, have a similar climate, I'm just curious. Do your fail start a little bit earlier? I didn't write it down. I just don't do it because I have then so much things that I need to uh, note here and there. And it's just too much to just let it happen. But I have a feeling that they are a little bit earlier than uh, previous year. Plus, of course, uh, they can stay where they are. I don't need a greenhouse uh, floor, new floor. I have it so they can stay where they are and they can fully enjoy the light that they are getting, the feet that they are getting and, and just pump it all into the leaves, the roots and of course the spikes. So that's said and done. Something to look forward to. If you're still here, uh, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. And if you didn't already have, maybe you want to subscribe to my channel. I really enjoy making these videos. It's just such a nice sort of extension on uh, of this orchid hobby, just to share uh, with you the love for these plants. It's basically what it's uh, coming down to. And I don't mention this much, but if you feel a little bit extra, I also have the option to give me, uh, to buy me a coffee, just a little tip, or give me a super thanks. And I have some ideas with that, but um, maybe, yeah, just in, in just a short uh, addition to this video, I'm thinking of making a video about our uh, wildlife center rehabilitation center uh, there are different names i believe for it but um, as you may know we own that and that's uh, the main job that i have um, the most part is volunteering but that's uh, is very time consuming as you can imagine and we don't get a, a government fund so we need to have gifts from people that, that, that are uh, allowing um, their money, to, uh, they spend a bit of money for our uh, rehabilitation center. And that's how we continue doing the job. And we are already doing it for 46 years. We are the third generation in our family. So it's very special. And I thought maybe I can do that. Maybe I don't need to ask directly, sort of, I need those uh, extras, a bit of coffee. <laughs> I enjoy the coffee, uh, uh, quotation marks there. But um, yeah, I thought, why not put it in, in the shelter? I think that's, that's maybe better. So, but then obviously I need to make a video to make uh, it uh, um, 
makes sense for people who watch this video. Anyhow, it's just an idea I'm working on in the back of my head. Someday we probably will do that. But for now, if you feel a little bit of extra, all the money now goes into the channel uh, some way or form. So thank you, you don't have to. But I noticed that if I don't mention it, people don't think about it. So that's why I thought I need to mention it uh, like other uh, YouTubers do, because that, that's how we work. We need to be reminded of things from time to time. Anyhow, thank you in advance. and. Uh, of course, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. I promise I always try to get to your comments as quickly as I can, but I not always have the time like I just explained. You know why. Thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye.